I'm gonna show you how to make this super delicious one pot sausage and bean casserole. It's absolutely delicious, especially at this time of year when it starts to get a wee bit chilly. For veggie prep, we're going pretty colorful. We're using red onion, red pepper, and green pepper. But as always, you can use other things you've got lying around the fridge, carrot, green beans, whatever. It's really flexible. Then you're going to fry off some venison sausages in a large oven proof casserole dish. If you can't get lean venison sausages, try and get lean beef sausages instead. But get some color on them and then remove from the pan and set aside. You don't need fully cooked at this stage. Then in the same pan, add those veggies and we're going to fry them for a few minutes until they're softened and the onions are starting to turn a little bit brown. And then add in your garlic and give that a further 30 seconds before tipping the sausages back into the pot. For wine, we're using my old freezer trick. Anytime I've got leftover wine, yes, that is a thing now and again. I freeze it and keep it in bags so I can use it for this. We're going to add a glass of red wine and we're going to reduce it by about a third. That just helps remove some of the alcohol before adding in some stock chopped tomatoes and then season it up with black pepper and for herbs I'm going to use fresh thyme and fresh rosemary if you don't have access to the fresh you can just use like a half teaspoon of dried for each it still will taste just as delicious then pop the lid on and stick in the oven at 180 degrees celsius hey sorry for the interruption but I've got a super quick favor to ask if you could either click like, drop a comment below and let me know what you think of this recipe or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. It has got absolutely nothing to do with my ego. It just means that if you interact with this video in some way, YouTube is more likely to show it to others so that more people get a chance to cook my recipes. Thanks in advance. Now back to the recipe. After the timer goes, remove the lid and add a can of washed and drained cannellini beans. Stir that through, pop the lid back on it and just stick it back in the oven for 15 minutes to allow those beans to heat up. And then for serving, I think this goes really well with a bit of crusty bread or potatoes. But whatever you serve it with, I hope you enjoy it and thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like the full recipe, you can get it in my recipes app. There's a link in the description for you to download it below.